President Biden condemned both anti-Semitic protests taking place on college campuses and people who he said don't have a full understanding of Palestinian suffering. Now, according to the media mistool on SAN.com, conservative news outlets are comparing President Biden's comments to an infamous moment from Donald Trump's presidency. First, here are the facts of what happened. The president was in Virginia Monday, where he was asked questions about protests happening on college campuses around the country. Protests at Columbia University have led to arrests and even a move to remote learning. Protesters want the university to cut financial ties with Israel and divest any investments it has in the country. Some protesters have made blatantly anti-Semitic comments, like October 7th will happen 10,000 more times. I condemn the anti-Semitic protests. That's why I've set up a program to deal with that. I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians and they're, how they're being. Using the media mist tool on SAN.com, or the Straight Arrow News app, you can see how outlets are framing this very differently. Media Mist shows you not only what the media is covering, but lets you dissect how they're covering it. News providers with a right-lean bias are comparing Biden's statement to former President Donald Trump's now infamous find people on both sides comment that he made in 2017 in the wake of a white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. And you had some very bad people in that group, but you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. Fox's headline says Biden crushed for equivocating on anti-Semitic protests. Very fine people on both sides moment. They shared social media posts from multiple conservative pundits who criticized President Biden. Real Clear Politics, which leans right, ran with a similar headline. They prominently placed a tweet from RNC Research on top of the article and wrote in the lead sentence, the Republican Party marked President Biden for hedging when he condemned alleged anti-Semitic protests on college campuses on Monday. Breitbart ran a similar headline and described what it calls the fine people hoax and shared a transcript of Trump's 2017 remarks to show the entire response he gave regarding the Charlottesville rally. That includes Trump saying white nationalists should be condemned totally. For an example from the left, Politico said Biden condemns anti-Semitic protests and absence of Palestinian empathy too.